Hello, 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 hello. In this video, I wanted to cover uh, writing a script to check whether um, a website is up or down. The reason for doing this is because I recently had a problem where my website went down or one of them went down and I had absolutely no idea of it. Um, so I wanted to write a quick script to do this. So the idea is that what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a JSON file, which I've already written, that has some websites in it and has some text that I want to be searching for in that website. And then I want to check, is the website up? If the website's up, that's all good. If it's not, then I want to email myself and say, oh, you should totally do something about this. So let's start doing that. It's going to be quite a quick script to write. So we'll say something like, uh, we'll call it file status. If we first start off by importing JSON, we can do uh, with open and the file is called, oh my God, he can't type, sites.json. Uh, and then we want to say as file. We can then say uh, print JSON load and then file. Okay, that looks like it should be all good. We'll quickly run that. Again, you can't type. What the hell is wrong with me? Run that. Cool. That's printing some sites that we've got there. Okay, cool. So we've got some sites. Um, what are the next things we need to do? Well, we next need to uh, import beautiful soup. So we need to import requests actually. So import requests and oh, I'll put in reports, requests. And from uh, BS4, we want to import uh, beautiful soup as BS, like that. And then in this little thing here, we don't need to have like a function or anything to do this. We're just going to do this in line, this sort of imperative style. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, we'll call this uh, sites, like that. We'll change that and we'll get rid of this. Okay, um, so what do we want to do? Well, we want to uh, say, you know, for site uh, in sites. We need to check that if we quickly print the site, just make sure I've written that right. I haven't been in Python for a few weeks. Let's just double check I'm doing that correctly. Yep, yeah, cool. Uh, that's fine. So we want to then check if it's up. So let's quickly write a function to do that. So we want to do something like uh, def uh, check check status and then pass in the site. And we want to do something like soup is equal to requests.get and we say site uh, URL like this and then bring this back, say text and then we want to use the HTML password beautiful soup to actually get the stuff we want to do uh, and we can really quickly just print this just to double check everything's going well. So instead of printing site here we are going to change that to check status uh, and then site and run that it should print a hell of a lot of stuff okay no it hasn't I've done something wrong what have I done wrong I haven't put an extra parentheses there so we'll run this no what this doesn't seem correct what have I done it's moaning about something here okay so we've got the right parentheses there oh 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 it's that we shouldn't have that. And we also need to do this. I knew I needed an extra parenthesis. We need to do soup there and then an extra parenthesis there. That looks more similar to what I've done before. Okay, but da -da -da -da. local variable soup is referenced before assignment. Of course it is, because that shouldn't say that. We need to create a beautiful soup object. Keyword error URL. Ah, oh, hmm. That doesn't seem right. Why is that saying keyword error? Okay. So we should close that and then we should bring this to there. Let's have a look what's going wrong here. Uh, keyword error URL. Why is it saying that? It shouldn't be saying that. So let's print the site that gets passed to this because maybe I've done something completely calamitous. Um, ah. Oh. That's why it's not called URL, it's called site in there. So we need to type site there and that should be fine. 
we'll have a goosey goosey gander at that and it's going to print a whole load of googly gock yep cool that looks uh something like it's right um yeah and then it's moaning about some other stuff later on uh it's moaning about check status uh line status pi but a bit of a error connection yeah that's fine so the reason for part of the error is that one of the websites in the JSON file is wrong, I've just noticed, so that doesn't matter, but that's going to be useful for testing this actually works. So we've printed the soup. What I want to do next is I want to uh, write a function that checks the title or something like that. So we'll say check title, and what we'll do for this is we will pass in the site and we'll pass in the soup object like that and we'll say um, we'll say hmm, do, 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 do. actually we won't pass in that what we'll do instead is we'll just pass in the uh, we'll pass in the site and the title and what we're going to do here is we're going to say uh, title equals soup Dot find and I know what I'm looking for because obviously this is my these are my websites. I'm looking for um, h1 with the attributes and we pass in the dictionary here the attributes class comma site title like that. Okay, and then at the bottom of this check status, we want to just simply return check title like this so check title and we will pass in the site and we pass in the title and what we're going to have in here is we're going to have uh, if the title is equal to the site dot title over here or site text it should be actually then this is all good and just return we don't want to do anything else always say true uh, otherwise we want to return false because the site title hasn't matched what we want it to match so either the site title changed or it's not up I'm just going to say it's not up um, because I'll know if I've changed the site and I can always update this script okay so now what do we know is that both of these functions now return a true or false so we can do something like uh, if check status dot site equals true then we can just uh, you know, pass else we want to email ourselves and how do we do that well I've already written a email uh, module for myself. If you want to see how to do that, I've got videos on that. So what we can do is we can say uh, from emailer uh, import send to main. And what that takes is that function that I've just imported takes a dictionary and the dictionary is going to have a, a subject and a body. So what we can do is we can say um, we can do something like uh, else send to main and we'll do dictionary and it will say subject and then we want to say site site uh, is down like that. I don't actually need to have the body, uh, but we could. I should probably just put it in there, even if it's just empty. So I'll just do body and do an empty string for now, because I'm not really too concerned about that. Well, later on, I could modify this script, see if anything works. So now, hopefully, I've got everything right. And if I was to actually run this script, we should see an email pop through in a second. Run this. In valid syntax on line 31, what's the line? There is no line 31. Oh, I see what I've done. Obviously, I haven't closed off the function. Run this again. 
Ooh, looks like it's doing some stuff. Yes, it is doing some stuff and it's moaning about this because it can't get stuff. So we can see here we've got uh, an email saying that the website's down, which is exactly what I expected because I got the wrong uh, email, the wrong actual URL in here, which is exactly what I was doing to test this. So this is all good, happy with that. So now what do we need to do? Well, what I need to do is I need to do a, a um, chmod plus x and then on status.py do that. What that's gonna do is that's gonna make the status.py file that we just wrote, that's gonna make that executable. And now what we can do is we can go to the cron tab. So we can do uh, the cron tab. So this is my server that we're currently on at the moment. So I says Shane at Intrepid. We can do this. I'm gonna copy one of my uh, existing cron jobs come down here, write a new little comment, site uh, status, and that's not what I want. I want to do this. And then I wanna check on every day, so I have a video on the Chrome tab as well if you're unsure what, what's going off right now. What this is is basically these are a whole series of scripts that run at particular times. I'm not gonna go and explain what like these five things are because I do have a video on that already. Uh, that will be linked. What I actually want to do here though is I want to check the minutes. So these are minutes. I don't care about that. What I do care about, however, is the time. So 13 is one in the afternoon. I want to stay at, at exactly, uh, let's say, I don't know, six in the morning, 6 a.m. of every day, of every week, of every month, and every time we want to do this, I want to check and run this script so we can say um, site status and then just run status.py. And that will be okay. And when we save this and run out, it's gonna say installing new cron tab and that will all be installed perfectly well. So now that will all work. So this has been a slightly different video than usual. Um, but yes, this is just writing a bit of Python to solve a little problem I had. Thank you very much for watching. Ta-ta.